Christians, politically or whatever, what they do is they exercise authority upon them to dominate and to rule over them. But it shall not be so among you. The, Jesus is about to give you a great definition of success. It is not whosoever will be great among you is not the one who dominates the most people, but it's the one who ministers or serves the most. That is far different than the worldview. Whoever is chief among you shall be your servant. So, while he put all things under our feet, he has not put people under our feet, right? right? Even the Son of Man came not to, even Jesus when he got here, he didn't come, he, he didn't come to get a whole bunch of people to dominate, but he came to serve and give his life and ransom. The apostle put it this way, not that we have dominion over your faith, but we're helpers of your joy. Let me tell you something, get it straight. If I've misled you, I repent herewith. My task is not to have dominion over your faith. I'm here as a servant. What I've been doing this morning is I'm trying to serve up the word of God for you. I'm going to serve you. That's why this church doesn't exercise systems of people domination. Let me see if I got room on my screen. I did. It's like this. In the corporate world, you have a pyramid structure. You have a president up here. You have the vice presidents here. Middle management comes next. And then here are the people here. And these rule over these. And Jesus comes along and says, this is what they're doing. This is, by the way, this, this kind of leadership where you have the, the president up here and the people down here and, and, and the vice president here, that's why when they fly, so this, this, this organization is totally dependent on this leader. That's why I don't allow them to fly on the same planes and they go into a convention, separate the planes because the plane comes down, we don't lose the whole bunch of them. Yeah, we only lose, you know, whatever, money. Now Jesus comes along and he says, I don't want you running this system. What he says instead, watch this now, I want you to have a different system. It looks like this. And here are the people and here is the pastor. He's on the bottom of the heap. He is not to dominate. He's not to rule. That doesn't mean I won't ever <laughs> get in your face. <laughs> That's part of being a server. You know? Watch out. We do not have dominion over your faith. You hear what you hear here, and you go your way, and you decide. Got it? Yes. So why does God put the pastor and the elders down here? And the people up here? Watch. If it was like this, with a pastor up here, and the people were down here, and imagine with me that this is God up here. You'd have all these people in between you here and God. I don't want that way. So here's God up here. And he's the head of every man. And leadership is a servant of these people.
Because if you go at this system, the pastor becomes a little pope. You don't, get to talk, you don't get to talk to God. You go talk to the priest who will talk to God for you. Excuse me. There is one mediator between God and man, and that's the man Christ Jesus. Nobody, no human between you and God. See? And when this comes to reigning, don't get the wrong concept that this means that we get a whole bunch of people serving us. No, it means we get to serve a whole bunch of people. But we reign over everything else. All things are perfect. Gideon said to them, I will, I will not rule over you. And they asked for this. Neither will my son rule over you. The Lord. Amen. The Lord shall rule over you. Amen. Now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> People say, he says that, but he doesn't mean it. <laughs> I do. I can't believe what the time went. But next Sunday morning, the how? How? How do you get into this posture, this condition, this position, this mindset? This, how do you get there? And I want you more than anything else to get there because... Your future, the future of your children, depends. And there must come back to America a people not following the culture because it's going the wrong way. That's right. People that are not puppets on a string, pushed button manipulated people who are accountable to God. And everything is under our feet. Wow. And that's where we want you. Not in the pride of your ego, but in the humility of your personhood. So that's what I want to do next week. Three vital understandings. Three vital things. So you can reign in life. And all these 10, 11 viewers will happen. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for this people. I don't know, Lord, but I, I understand it real well. These people are yours, not mine. And I love it. Jesus direct with everybody here. I love it. Thank you for them. Thank you for letting us learn the things that will make us what you want us to be for your glory. And the preparation for next life. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, we want to give the Lord's tithe and our